YouTube, witty butter here, and we are back in Pokemon Flora Sky. Uh, a few things we're doing in this episode. First things first, let's go get ourselves an item. More on that guy later. Right, we've got a PP Max here. PP Max is um, max out the PP for any any one move. Yeah, quite useful when you're playing campaign, and quite useful in the meta game if you're actually allowed to use those. I don't know. I'm not really all that into the meta game. I know stuff about it, sure, but mm. right, we got a cherry berry on Pamela. Because we're taking on the challenge house. Um this is in Ruby and Sapphire. No idea if it's an emerald, probably, I'd assume so. It's essentially where you take on um a whole family of four people in battles one after another and you get a reward from it. It's not changed that much, to be honest. I guess aside from the Pokemon you fight, which makes sense, I suppose. But the reward is the same, and yeah, the the positioning's different, as you might have guessed from the whole reworked map and everything. But with Pamela's new move, Headbutt, she just tears through the first guy, damn middle-aged guy. He's back. That's probably the same middle-aged guy that was blocking us on the route. He has it out for us. We'll probably be seeing him again. I cut out that, like, two battles there. Mainly because the with those two battles, and with one of the battles in the gym, this episode would have been, like, 18 minutes, and I do have upload restrictions on YouTube. I can't really go beyond 15 minutes, so, yeah. Plus, it was kind of boring. There were really long battles, and ugh. Ordinarily, I won't do that. If I can stick within the 15 minutes and keep all the battles, um, like these consecutive things, like special battles or gym battles, then I will keep them in because it just makes sense to. But I, I really tried to sort this out as best as I could. And this is the only real thing I could do for you. So live with it, essentially. It's a bit late to change it now. Yeah. Her deer goes down. As you may have noticed over my talking. I do that a lot. You might you might understand that by now. Anyway, for some reason the grandma's well that makes sense actually. Grandma's best because she's old and she has experience. Yeah. Macho brace. Right, macho brace. Um Half speed, I think, same as paralysis, or it just lowers speed a bit, but it increases. Oh god, I don't want to go into really complex stuff. Um, okay, if I put it simply, it lowers your speed, but it increases how fast a Pokemon grows. Yeah, <laughs> think of it that way. Not on an experience level, on an actual stat level, like their stats go up faster with that, but their speed goes down. And I won't explain it in any more detail unless people ask me to, because it's quite complex. Yeah. That was us getting the gym leader, you kind of have to do that. Also, I, I apologise, I really do, I'm awful at riding a bike in this game. <laughs> I'll probably never do it again unless I have to, but oh, it's painful to watch, it, it really is. Mm. And because this is technically a gym battle episode, we are going to dump the Pokemon in the box after we heal, of course, because we did just take on four trainers in a row. Not that Piplup or Starly did anything. Layabouts. I don't even need them as HM Slayers right now, because Pamela can use Rock Smash, and they're just literally laying about. What? Oh. It's actually quite frustrating. I might leave him in the box for a while, just to teach him a lesson, yeah. <laughs> um, as I said, I cut out tedious things. I went to the shop just before I came into the gym, so I now have a bunch more items. The stairs in this place are really weird. They don't go straight, you have to sort of go in a zigzaggy, not zigzaggy, like you have to move along a bit, then go up or down, and then move along a bit more. I don't know what what's going on there. I guess it's something weird going on with coding and barriers or whatever. Anyway, this gym is the drug house. Sorry, 
normal type gym, and they use lots of X items. Uh, drugs. They use lots of drugs. This is the drug house. I won't avoid it any longer. This this mouse is on speed. X speed, specifically. Makes it go faster than me. <laughs> if you couldn't have guessed that, funnily enough. Um, it probably would have gone faster than me anyway, considering Pamela is unevolved and that thing's naturally fast. So, yeah. Hmm. Uh, same as the other gym, I will heal up and equip berries and whatever. Mm. I used an Auron Berry, because I wasn't really sure what kind of status ailments were are in here. So I just want to be safe and stick to HP. And in the practice runs I didn't get anything, but I didn't see every single move the opponent's Pokemon had either. So I wanted to play it safe, and that's the best I could do for now. Yeah. Let's battle with Gina. Spinder. Spinder's kind of forgettable to me. It's it's like some sort of panda thing. The only reason that like, it's not completely gone out of my mind forever is the fact that every single Spinder has unique spot variations, which is interesting, to say the least. And this is cool. This battle also shows us something awesome. I, I don't understand why it happened. Maybe I'm just lucky, but Pamela gets put to sleep twice and she wakes up on the first turn both times. Sorry, that was spoilers. You'll see it in a minute. You've already seen one of the sleepies. There we go. Sleepy number two. And there's... Woke up, there we go, yeah. Isn't that awesome? Pamela, not only a badass, also not a very sleepy person. Sleepy Pokemon, either. I'm sorry. That, that's probably really creepy. I'm starting to think of Pamela as a real person. Oh. I, oh, I just scared myself. Let's, let's completely forget that happened. And pray I'm not going in, insane. Mm. This green hair girl is the one that I won. I cut out. She was the HP woman. Nothing that big about her. It just was a really long battle. All she had was a single slack off. Which is just... Ugh. It was so slow. It really was. I do damage, she heals it. I do a bit more damage, she heals it. And blah de blah 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 Hmm. It was kind of that pan. Intimidate is an ability that that Star Avia just used. It lowers your opponent's attack. Or my attack in this case, because the opponent's Pokemon had Intimidate. It lowers the attack by one stage. Quite useful. In most... Against physical attackers, obviously. Kind of useless against special attackers. Uh, yeah, Headbutt takes it. Head Headbutt doesn't seem all that affected by it, so... We tear through. Um, and moving on. There's still one last little puzzle before we get to the gym leader, but i show you how to do it. It took me a while, and I'm not proud of that. I re I'm really not. I don't know why I thought it was something else. But... I do jump to the side because I cut from when all my tries out because you don't want to see that. That's just tedious and that's more boring than the battles. It's just me pressing buttons over and over again. Yeah. Anyway, middle and the left button on. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> For some reason I thought you had to do it in a very special code or something. Yeah. Here we go. This is the... Uh Crime Lord drug dealer woman. Ironically, not using any of her drugs. Although, that's the point. Drug dealers rarely actually use their own drugs, they just sell it. I saw that on TV. I promise. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, just a little girl that we beat up mercilessly. How, does, how do little girls become gym leaders? I mean, you become the champion of the entire county, or country, I suppose, and no one seems to know you except for the fan club. That's completely different. I'll probably show that off at the end of the game, actually, because there is one in this game. I don't know if they... Hmm, it might be the same as the other Pokemon games. We shall find out! Yes. This Delcat was a bit of a pain, to be honest. I don't know why, it just kept... It was just annoying to battle. I don't like Delicati in general. I think it's, 
It looks like it's better than you. Or it thinks it's better than you. Look at it. Look at its eyes. Look at it. Look into its smug, uncaring, hateful eyes. Yes. It thinks it's better than you. Hmm. Hate it. Hate it with all your soul. And this gym leader uses super potions. Lovely. Only the second gym leader and we're already having and they're already having to use super potions. Yeah. Um I guess I can live with it. It didn't well, it did annoy me a bit in this fight, but we get through it. Yeah. I'm glad that sing missed. I don't like sleep either. In real life or in the game. I do kind of like sleep. I mean, it's sleep. But I'm not, you know, I, I don't like sleeping for too long. Just, I'm sorry, I'm getting into anecdotes or personal information now. I, I'm sorry. Um, Pokemon, we're focusing on Pokemon. This is a Chansey. Lots of health. Um, special wall, I think? Yeah. Not as good as its evolution, blessing. But doesn't really put up much of a wall against a physical attack like Pamela. Not that I'm complaining, of course. Hmm. Rock Smash is kind of the main key in this battle. Just, yeah. Soft Boiled is, it, is its signature move. Not many Pokemon can d use it. Um, it. It's just a healing move. Oddly, it heals less than Roost, I think. No, no, no. Roost heals less. It looks like Unless Softball does actually heal 33% like Roost. Yeah. Anyway, this is the super cheap move I was talking about, like, in the last two episodes. It's super fame, and when you use it, it halves the opponent's health. Yeah, that's quite cheap, isn't it? Um, yeah. I don't, as I said, I won't be using it much. And if I do use it, it'll just be in an emergency against some sort of defensive behemoth, like, Shuckle. Ugh. I don't really have any way to deal with Shuckle, actually. Um, 